Welcome guys. Today we will be coding our client server calculator. Now that you have already watched my previous tutorials and successfully implemented the client server chat application, this calculator is just a cakewalk for you. The only difference we are having here is that we are passing integers from client to server and from server to client. There would be some minor differences in the code, otherwise it would be all the same. So let's delete this while loop from a client part. We don't require a while over here right now. And let's declare some terms. We'll require a num1, a num2 for number one and number two respectively. Answer to compute the answer by doing the calculation given by the client and a choice. The client will give us a choice whether to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. So now that we have done this, let me copy paste something. Okay, so now this is the code. You're already familiar with this, so I'm not writing it down once again. I'm just copy pasting it. Let's go through it once again though. Write new sock FT, the new socket file descriptor we have created. Enter number one, string length, and number one. So this is the text we are sending to the client. So we will be asking the client to enter number one. On that request, the client with a corresponding write statement for this read statement over here will send us a number. And the only difference in this read function is that we are storing the number in num1 and we are specifying the size of as the data type, which is integer. And then the server will know by this printf statement that the number one is person d which is data type for integer num1 now similarly we will also require second block of code just like this for our second number so we write it down over here let's change some things here enter number two string length enter number two then here we are referencing it to num2 pretty cool pretty well and here also we need to do the change comments not required as such but it would be better if we do so read number two ask for number two now that we have our both the numbers from the client we will proceed further now we will ask the client which operation he wants to perform with this block of code so we use a write function over here file descriptor and enter your choice one for addition two for subtraction three for multiplication four for division and five for exit and the string length would be the same string so our write function has been catered to, it will reach the client, the client will give its option, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, or exit, and we will have that in this variable, choice, which is referenced to by our read function. And the size of is int as well, we are dealing in integers in the whole of our code. And then a print a statement to let us know which choice it is. After this, we need to write a switch case in order to implement all of this. Uh, before that, let's get a label over here. Let's mark it as S because we need to go to the top. You will let you will come to know why we need to go to the top back again. Okay, so now that we have labeled it, we will write our switch case statement. So this is our switch case block switch with a choice in it if it is case one we will perform addition subtraction multiplication and division and we have written q over here so if it is exit we need to terminate and move to this statement which will close our socket descriptors so here we will give our label as q Let's save our program once. 
now let's send the answer to the client so we'll use a write function with the file descriptor new sock ft and our answer is in ans answer and the size is the data type which is int now remember that we have labeled this s over here so we need to go back to s if the client has not said exit which is he doesn't have said case 5 so we need to go back up there and for that we will write a code if choice not equal to 5 then go to s okay so this is our client code which is pretty simple some basic c programming over here write and read statements we already knew it just that the data type has changed from character to integer we are passing integer as a stream and well this was all it for the server side let's save it Control s now let's move on to our client side just let's do the similar procedure delete up this while loop and start writing our code for the client now remember that there has to be corresponding write for every read and a corresponding read for every write in the client side so now the last statement which is the, the last function for the server side is right so we require the last function for the client side to be a read one okay so remember this we will start our coding now we will require the same variables in the client side as well num1 num2 choice and answer and now there the first block of code was write and read here it needs to be read and write so we have again referenced we have again given a label for a first block of code where we need to return if we need to continue taking on the calculator requests from the client so b0 to clear clearing the buffer then a read statement for a corresponding write over there in the client side then we will read the server string which would be enter number one it would be printed over from this printf statement then we are using scanf to get number one and then we are using the write function to send our num1 to the server let's copy paste this block let's write num2 over num1 num2 well i think it is sorted now yeah pretty much sorted read server string and turn number two let's change the comment send number two to server now that we have already sent our num1 and num2 to the server we require to now give the choice for the server so now this is a pretty similar code to give the choice the same blocks of code three of them read that server is asking for a choice over here then enter your choice by using the scan f statement and then write down your choice to server now let's write down the terminating condition if choice equal equal phi then go to q q would be a label over here now let's make it a little more user friendly so let's get out and tell the user you have selected to exit exit successful okay and if the choice is not equal to phi we need to again go to our block number one and execute the very similar script. And one more thing that we are remaining with is to read our answer to which the client has computed by processing our request. So let's write down our read function. 
take the answer given by uh, server in our ans variable and specify the size which is that of the int and print f server the answer is percent d backslash n and we will answer okay so we have completed our printf statement and now it's time to go back to the first block of code if the choice is not equal to phi so if the choice is not equal to phi then go to s and we will finally come here and all these steps will be executed again so this was it the client code guys hopefully i think both the codes we have finished are errorless now let's compile them and see if there are any errors if so we'll find out the errors and sort it out Let's compile the server part first of all. Well, there is one error on line number 77. Answer undeclared previous use ANS equal to num1 plus num2. Let's check that out what the error is. Oh, well, 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 here we have declared answer as A-N-S-W-E-R. So we need to rectify this thing. And now let's check it down. Okay, no error. So server is running quite fine. Now let's check our client code. There is an error, a stray symbol over there. I don't know when did I write that, but let's remove it. Line number 87. Okay, a small stray symbol is over here. Okay, we have removed it now. Now we can finally shoot up our client server calculator. Let's compile this again. No errors. Now, first of all, we need to shoot up our server. Remember this thing, if the server is not powered on, the client has nothing to connect to. So it is the server code which you should run first. Server, specify the port number. Again, again, remember this thing that you have choices from 1024 to 65535, but not anywhere between 1 to 1024. Those are the reserved ports. Now our server is powered on. Now let's shoot on our client with dot slash client same machine the loopback address 127.0.0.1 and the port number which is 9898 okay the server says enter number one let's enter number eight number eight has reached to the server here you can see on the left hand side of the terminal and number two let's write down enter number two is nine now the server asks for the choice let's begin with addition the answer is 17 well the addition is working now let's go ahead and well uh, because of our go to statement the server is asking for again the number one because our choice was not exit now let's try multiplication let's use the number 65 multiplied by 30 so now use the choice 3 for multiplication and now the answer server gives 65 into 30, which is one, which is 1950. So likewise, you can perform other operations, division and subtraction. And now we will like to exit the server. So press five, exit. You have selected to exit, exit successful. So this was our calculator code. Pretty simple if you knew the basics. You have to just reiterate what you learned. So. If you have landed directly on this video at first, then I recommend you to watch the previous videos of this tutorial series. Otherwise, you have probably understood nothing. 
and you have already watched my previous videos, this was just a cakewalk for you. Congratulations, you have successfully implemented your calculator. And next, we'll be doing the transfer of text file using the transmission control protocol, TCP. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe, like, and share. JJ signing out here. Take care, guys. Goodbye.